Well, new tonight, federal agencies are warning pedestrian deaths are the highest they have been in over four decades. A local organization says Georgia, one of the worst states when it comes to safety for people just walking along the road. 11 Alive's Paolo Suro is now looking into why pedestrian safety tends to impact minorities more than other communities. Happy birthday! Take Brittany Glover, who was hit and killed by a hit and run driver a year ago. Until I see that change happening, then it's all just talk. Or take Thomas Heinemann's daughter, Alexia, my who died a similar way in 2016. So my daughter died in an accident, and I just didn't know at the time that that's just not the case. Um, I didn't know this was preventable. Heartbroken families advocating for safer roads for pedestrians. Local organization Propel ATL is doing the same. We have seen a year-to-year -year increase in people walking and using wheelchairs being hit. National statistics show that since 2011, pedestrian and cyclist deaths have increased by 64% to more than 8,000 in 2022. That problem is especially bad in Atlanta, according to Propel ATL's executive director, Rebecca Serna. Unfortunately, the way a lot of our streets in Atlanta and throughout the state of Georgia have been designed in the last 50 years has been very much about how can we get cars through here as fast as possible. Less than 10% of our streets that account for 73% of fatal and serious injury crashes. Serna says that in Atlanta, bicyclists and pedestrians make up less than 2% of all crashes, but over 12% of fatal and serious injury crashes and adds that people of color are disproportionately affected. So you see a lot of these dangerous high-speed streets constantly concentrated in communities of color. Um, and particularly when you combine that with the economic factors at play where people have less access to cars. She's hopeful things will start to improve with the help of city council members and the families who keep pushing for change. In Atlanta, Paolo Cerro, 11 Alive News.